Lag Studios. Warning, this game contains violent and disturbing material. I'll be sure to try and remember that for each video. And as that is too loud for me, I'll turn this down for myself. For as long as you can remember, legends have told... Legends have been told about the derelict mansion upon the hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residences cannot remember the mansion's origin. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. As I turn that down more, because it's too loud for me, I'll let this pass before I introduce myself again. In fact, I'll introduce the game first. Well, I will in a moment. But you might even expect me to do a different video probably for Outlast or Five Nights as the Doctor or myself. But hey, I'm in a little box again. I wanted to do these again since I kind of missed um, doing the face cam thing. And not streaming right away. It's also a little bit of a debate on what to do next with the other two games I mentioned. But hello, I am Jester De Rama. Welcome to a Let's Play of Spookies. Actually, I should probably bring up... Ah, oh, there it is. Spookies House of Jump Scares. It's a free-to-play game on Steam. I found it recently because it was recommended to me, so I thought, eh, couldn't be that bad. I mean, it looked a little bit cheesy, but when I looked at the trailer, it was a lot more creepy than I expected. So, shall we start... Because this seems kind of cute. It's just Spooky's House of Jump Scares. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, yeah. I tried to start this a little bit to be sure if it worked. Let's just start a new game, shall we? Okay. Controls has whizzed. Look at the mouse. Activate E. Sprint Shift. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of running. Use open with left click. Oh, I get weapons. Alright, let's get ready. Room zero. Hello, I am spooky. Very. And this is my home. Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? Maybe. Can you find what lies at the end? Perhaps. Is there even Is that how really now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, horror games with sense of humor. I love this. Kind of like Cabin in the Woods. Let's see if we can exit. Nope. Oh, that's some fast sprinting. Room one. It's like SCP. Room two. Seems simple enough. Hmm. Oh. Fork on the road. Well, trident in the road, actually. Let's go left. Nope. Right. Nope. Forward. Oh, I have to press E. I was doing that habitually. Room three. Spoopy. So much spoop. You know, I'm willing to expect that there's going to be some crazy ghosts in here. So as I turn up my microphone sound a little bit, I can now hear things more appropriately. Perhaps the spooky things. So what are we going to do? Explore further. Actually, I should speed this up for you guys a little bit. Room 6. Room 7. Oh, no. Here we got something. Room 7. Hmm, let's see what's within over here. Room 8. Where's the jump scare? I know it seems cute so far. It's a bed. A brick bed. What happened to the ambience? What happened to the ambience? God dang it. Is there anything here? Apparently not. Oh well. Room 10. Here we go. A candle. Unlit candle. Then how the heck's there light in here? Okay, another thing to not really care about, so let's go on to room 11. Nothing but a window, and two doors, and another nightstand. Well, file drawer. 
which we need in our house, by the way, because we are kind of needing to get some files put away, as my boyfriend tells me. Sorry! Ooh, spooky sounds. This could be something interesting. Oh, that's what that little bar's for. Room 12. Hmm. Now we're getting some different ambiance. I like this. When do I get a weapon? Eh, itchy face. Ooh, is this a jump scare? Let me turn this down a little bit so it's not like blaring. The hanged man. <laughs> spooky. Spooky, spook, spook. Next room, 14. Holy moly. Of course it gets sp scared by a cartoony spider. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> That's what I get for running. Now my face is all red of embarrassment. Shut up. Don't give me that look. You'd be jumping too if you started, decided to start running and then get some little spider in front of you. I wonder if it's foreshadowing for anything. Something cute that made me jump. I can't believe that. Room 16. Hmm. Another trident in the road. Let's go left this time. Hmm. Room 17. Hmm. Room 18. It seems a little bit creepy. Something small in the cage trying to reach out. I feel kind of sad for that guy or girl or whatever the gender. Hmm, black wall. That can't be menacing or anything. Oh, it's only gray. Never mind. The lone chair. How spooky. I want to crouch to get behind it because it reminds me of amnesia. But the chair. So spooky. Sorry, I'm being a nerd. I do that a lot. Everyone tells me that. Oh! Now we're getting somewhere. I have an appreciation for such styling. Now when do I start getting the flashes on the screen? That looks like... a little bit of, uh... drying magma? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Look at these very fancy fencing thingies. Whatever this is. Railing, that's the word. I couldn't think of it. I figured it out. Actually, I want to check something. I want to see how this... Oh. Okay. So it saves automatically, I'm assuming. So I guess I continue based on whatever room I get to. Ooh. Scary, and I jumped again. Freaking cartoony ghost, and I jumped again. Great. Let's move on. Freaking gooey, booey ghost. I will say, I give these guys props for actually making cute things make me jump, because I didn't expect them. And that's a good thing. When you don't expect something, it actually works as a jump scare. Scott Cawthon, you kind of made things not be scary when I saw it was going to be coming. Take notes. Hmm, room 23. Okay, now I get some sound effects. Again. Hmm. Oh, well, you're probably hearing in the background. There's a little bit of discussion for uh, Jitters and I's trip to Oregon. Just a little bit of updating and stuff, so. Hey, I'm recording here. Why are you gonna poop me? You pooped the microphone instead as well. You little butt. You tiny little butt. You mini teeny butt. Teeny mini butt. I'm in room 25 here. I'm trying to get things that are. I felt myself jump slightly again because of that. Freaking cartoony ghost. Well, it is Spooky's House of Jump Scares, and they're actually doing the job correctly. Five nights, take notes. So, do I expect a spider or an actual ghost soon? 
Or just another bed to sleep on. Oh, look. A table. A filing drawer. There are a lot of these here. In fact, they're probably not even filing drawers because this is too medieval. But then again, why does this have glass? Why does this castle have glass windows? It can't exactly be medieval if you have glass windows because I don't think they exactly had the technology to kind of make glass back in the Middle Ages. But, oh well, it's a mansion, I suppose. And a spooky house it shall be. Let's move on. Shall we? 27. What's going to jump out at me now? I wonder. Will I expect it or not expect it? Hmm. Sound effects. 29. You know, I heard that supposedly in the later ones in this area, they start to get really spoopy. When do I start running? Hmm. It's like SCP, but Minecraft mode, but not really Minecraft because it's got a bit more sprite animation. 31. Do I get a jump? No. What I like about this is that it's cartoony, so it actually puts you on edge at the same time. I mean, it's cartoony, but it puts you on edge. I like that. I can dig it. Ooh. Silent Hill wants their backgrounds back. I'm half expecting that some of these portraits to jump out at me at some point. But it's like, what's it gonna be? I don't know, because this is a fresh play. But again, this game is free on Steam. If you ever are interested, look up Spooky's House of Jump Scares. All free to play. Well, this is a short room. 35. My hair is bugging me. Hmm. Spooky sounds. So when does this start getting crazy? I talk too much, and that's what makes me jump. A pumpkin! A freaking pumpkin! Can you stop laughing at my embarrassing jumps? It's not my fault a cartoony pumpkin made me jump. No, oh, it is. Quiet! How is this cartoon of a game? How is this par self parodying game doing its job right? How does it do it? Uh oh. Did something escape the portrait? Eve would know. She knows all about portraits that come to life. I also have an Eve playthrough. Oh, this is kind of. What's the word? Um, confined spaces. I f can't believe I forgot that fear when I used to quote it all the time. I'm pretty sure I'll remember it after this part, or maybe not. Either way, you can correct me down in the comments if you like. I'm in room 40. Things seem to be picking up on a little bit of spoop. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I say. 42. <gasps> it's not a green bed anymore. It's a purple bed. Tom Nook would be very gracious to give me something for like this. For a thousand bells. I hate you, Tom Nook. I never liked you. I never liked you or your loans, Tom Nook. Anyways, back to spooking. Pretty sure this health bar will be necessary soon. But until then, I'm waiting for a pumpkin to make me jump again. Or a little spider. Hmm. 45. I think it's around 100 things start going a little nuts. But we're at 46. And look, another single window. <gasps> a gray bed. 700 bells. Am I using too much game humor? Let me know. Oh. I think there's a random function that makes these things pop out whenever. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Shuffling noises. A nice little piece. 49. Ooh. This gives you a little bit... Claustrophobia! That was the word! 
At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep forgetting this feeling like I am being watched by something. This is not romantic at all! Last time I heard about a romantic relationship with a ghost, Patrick Swayze was involved. Eh. How'd I put this away? Eh. Oh, there we go. Eventually, it gets out of my face. Hmm. Oh, wait. Unless 50 is actually where things start to pick up. We'll see. Oh! It is 50. Hang in there. Huh. Stone. Down. Oh, this is an elevator. It's a cross. I know something is following me. But I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I am dreadfully thirsty. Oh, so I have to click, do a left click. That's how it works. Ow, oh, lordy. Oh, that's how we save the game. You know what? Actually, on that note, I think it's probably a good time to say that's the end of episode one in Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Uh, pumpkins and little goo ghosts and spiders of the cartoony variety make you jump because you least expect it. Made me jump. So, look forward to part two. See you later. I'm just a drama. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.